pick your game up. Uh, and also, obviously, <laughs> being out, but just, Which is nice just to sort of like pick up the slack a little bit. Yeah, um, yeah I feel like all the receivers has the mentality that you know, if somebody goes down, we have to step up. So, regardless of who it is, we have to make plays. So that's really it. And obviously, in the, in the return game, too. Yeah. With, in, in Phillips' case, so that may be giving you a little bit more of an opportunity there. Yeah, uh, it was good being back there. You know, Phil was hurt, so they were like, uh, you got to catch some, some punt returns. So I was glad to be back there. So, yeah, it was a good opportunity. You obviously can't do all this on your own. Who are some shout outs you'd like to give to? Who's, who's really helped you to this point? Um, do you mean like on the team or just in general? In general, on the team. Okay, definitely I'll say my high school coach, Coach Sal. He definitely helped me into the man I am today. Um, taught me hard work and stuff like that. Um, Nelson Aguilar, he's a receiver for the Eagles. He went to my high school and we trained a lot before I came up here. So um, just being with him has helped me a lot because just to see that what it takes to be successful. Um, my family, you know, my uncles and stuff, they trained me when I was little. My mom, my sister, that's really it. So. Are you a guy, when you are on punt returns, are you going to try and fair catch everything rather than just let it bounce? Yeah, I'm going to try to fair catch everything. You know, if, you, if, it, if it bounces, it could probably go back. And we want to get the best field positions like, as possible. So, What's your background in the return game? Did you do it in high school a lot? How comfortable are you with that in that uh, process? I did it my junior year. Uh -huh. My senior year, um, my coach didn't really want me to do too much of it, so we had some other people back there. But... Uh, I practiced it a lot in the summer with Ty Zetner. We used to kick it a lot, so. Yeah. yeah. How's Jason Ray as a coach? Walk me through that. Uh, he's very energetic. Like, he comes in with the same energy every single day. You know, I've never seen him, like, down. Like, he's, he's so, like, thankful to be here. You know what I'm saying? So, when, you, when your coach is like that, then you have to be like that. So, it's just great having him in the room. It seemed clear that Malik obviously isn't 100% right now. How, how tough is it for him to grind through and go out and do what he did on Saturday? Uh, he, I think he was feeling pretty good on Saturday, but uh, it just shows toughness. You know, he's a really tough player. He's not going to if – he, if he can walk, he's going to play. You know, he's a tough player, so it's, it's good to have him in the room. Um, because it just it builds all of us up, you know. When your best receiver goes out there and plays, it shows everybody that you know um, we can do the same, stuff like that. Coach brought Keenan Garber's name up the other day. What have you seen from him in practice and, and kind of how he's progressing? Uh, Keenan's doing great. Um, he caught a couple of deep passes the other day. He's really fast. Gets out of his breaks really, really fast. Um, his overall speed is good too. So. You're halfway through your, your true freshman year. What's something you've accomplished that you're really proud of? Uh, I haven't even thought of that yet. Yeah. I'll probably have an answer for that after the season, but I haven't even really like reflected on sure. it yet. Has it been what you expected? I know that's a tricky question, but has it been what you expected or has it been different somehow? Uh, it's been a little different. It's a little bit faster, I would yeah. say. But um, I mean, I'm just happy that I'm playing, really. That's really it. So Yeah. How, what players maybe have helped you get to, to where you are now? Uh, Malik, Joaquin, um, Skyler, and then on the defensive side, I would say uh, Justin Hughes, Lance Robertson, um, and AJ. You know, those guys just give me a lot of encouragement on the defensive side, and then going against Lance and AJ in practice just helps me a lot. And then they, you know, they let me know if I'm doing good and stuff like that. So, what's something that you've learned most from Malik and Joaquin? Uh, I would definitely say they help me with routes and they help me with releases, but they also help me with my mentality. You know, uh, mm -hmm. just to be a dog every single play, catch every single pass. There shouldn't if the ball touches your hand, you got to catch it. Ball's near, you got to make a play. So, uh, having that mentality has helped me. How cool was it for you to be able to, to have that video produced about you and your mom and the game on Saturday? It was a really cool. It's a moment that I won't forget for the rest of my life. So I'm just happy that the K-State team, they, they got it on video. And what, what to you were the biggest things that your mom has taught you that you take with you today? Hard work, dedication. Um, if you want to be the best, you got to work for it, really. You know, so um, now I love my mom. I'm happy, you know, the way she raised me. Just to be humble and stuff like that through everything, through your success. So, What was the background of that in terms of did you find out Friday they were going to do it? Or what was for, for you? Uh, did you find out about kind of what K-State wanted to go on there? And... So they had texted me on Friday. Mm -hmm. They were like, yeah, I heard your mom's coming to the game. Like, uh, 
you can't recover it. But um, I didn't know they were going to produce a video or nothing. So it was it was a surprise to me. So it was just great having that done. So. When Is that the only game she's been able to come to this year? Do you know? She she went to the Mississippi State game. Okay. She she I drove up with a lot of my family. Uh, I don't know. This my I don't know. I really don't know. This might be the only game she can come to. When you're getting recruited to a Big 12 school, is this is this one of the games you think about with Oklahoma? Yeah, definitely. Uh, Oklahoma, Texas, those are the I say the top teams in this league. So um, it's definitely a great recruiting pitch. I think we're going to have some recruits here. Yeah. Right. So um, it's going to be a great game. Right. When you like grew up, what games did you envision playing in? If it's a big time college game, like, could you see yourself playing uh, one of the games? I would say Mississippi State, like, because I grew up watching the SEC on CBS. You know what I'm saying? So, right. just being in that stadium, you know, hearing the Cowboys, it was crazy. And then this Oklahoma game. I mean, every kid dreams of playing Oklahoma. So it's going to be a great opportunity to show showcase my talents and stuff like that. Other than having a lot of you know really good athletes, is there anything on their their defense that stood out to you in watching film so far? Uh, I've only watched I watched film yesterday, yeah. but they're just a really fast team. Uh, they play fast, they play hard. They're gonna hit you. They're gonna let you know they're there. So we got to bring that same mentality, bring that same you know energy to them.